Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, wishing you a happy and blessed Feast of the Annunciation. Only nine more months to go until Christmas. This is another major feast on which we put aside the violet vestments and put on white. It's the feast in honor of Mary's yes to God's will, her letting go of whatever plans she had for her life, and her surrendering herself completely to God's plan. The result? At that moment, when the angel Gabriel appeared to her and told her of God's plan for her, and when she embraced her vocation, a new life was conceived in her womb. The second person of the Blessed Trinity, the Son of God the Father, began to take flesh and develop in her womb. This is why Mary is so important in human history and the life of the Church. Without Mary's cooperation, Jesus could not have taken flesh. This is why we honor Mary and, in one version of the morning offering prayer, we go to Jesus through her immaculate heart. The idea is that we want to have a heart like hers. St. Augustine said that Mary first received into her heart what she then conceived in her womb. In other words, before Jesus took flesh in her womb, Mary received into her heart the Word of God which came to her through an angel. In her heart there was no obstacle to God's will. What a model for us during Lent and every day.